Come on, Anne. She said you'd do it tonight. I know. I know. I've just got butterflies. I'll do it tomorrow, I promise. No, I'm not having it. You said tonight. Quick and painless. Just say, Martin, do you fancy grabbing a drink after work? Simple as that. Yeah, but what if he... Oh, I don't know. What? Turns you down? Yeah. He won't. And even if he does, well, at least you'll know. Do it for me. It's my birthday next month. Shh, here he comes. Pretend I just said something funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marty. God, what I wouldn't give. Right, that's it. You're doing it tonight. Oh, no, I can't. Do it or I'll never speak to you again. <laughs> but you're my bestest of best friends. That's exactly why I'm doing this. Look at you. When was the last time you got a decent night's kip? Do it for your health, if nothing else. Nurse! Yes, Mr. Emmanuel. I can't breathe. My, my vision's going blurry. Ugh. I am sweating. Well, which of those would you like me to address first? Let me have a listen. Mm. Breathe in. Mm. Breathe out. Mm. Your airways are fine. No, they're not. I'm ebbing away, I can feel it. Six in every twelve people die from some form of respiratory distress. You're fine. Just like you were the other night. Just like you were last week. Everything's gone dark! I can't see! T tell, tell my family I love them. Uh, except for my brother George. He will go full of himself. For God's sake, man up, will you? You will have something to worry about if I have to listen to any more of your bloody whining. Yeah, is that so? I'm not prepared to be berated by any harlot. That won't stand. I happen to be dying here. This donut's got himself shot again. Where was he shot? In the park. Entry wound to the abdomen. No exit wound. <laughs> Martin! Help me get into triage. <laughs> Oh, I don't tell Martin why. You shouldn't have been so bloody slow, should you, idiot? Why is he being seen first? What about me? <laughs> I'm going to need to take some of the patient's details. Okay, shoot. Name? Michael. Michael what? Jackson. Address? 321 Road Street. Road Street? And where's that? Townsville. Come on, Townsville, really? And where might we find that then? Us back in Shire. Take a seat, please. Boing, 15 stone. I'm not worried, it's mostly penis. <laughs> yeah, you wish. You want to find out? Sure. 50 quid. Jog on. Now it's 80. Can I open a line of credit? I'm Rob, by the way. Cindy, pleasure. Believe it or not, I used to be a med student. Here, take a mouthful of each of these. What will I do? Just give you a mild trip. Trust me, there's no hangover or come down. I don't know if I'm on a trip or not. Thought you were some kind of tough guy. What gave you that impression? I got two brothers in prison for peddling stolen goods and an uncle on remand for armed robbery. I know the type. I know the look. You, my dear, are what they call a scoundrel. <laughs> and what do they call you then? Smart. And why is that then? Because I'll never see the inside of a prison cell. No? How'd you peg for a lady of the night? So, if a man pays me for sex, it's illegal. But if there's a camera rolling in the corner, it's an adult movie I'm being paid for. Not illegal. Now come on, man up. Sod it. Give it 
five minutes. So who did this then? Just uh, some guy. Mm. Not too busy. Some guy? You must have really ticked him off. Well, he tried to buy some uh, stuff with some funny money. It didn't go well. <laughs> oh, my brother's right. I'm a lemon. Not a lemon. You're just in the wrong line of business, I think. Next slug we fish out might be in your head. Is it really worth it? <laughs> I'm so here right now. Do you know that? <laughs> I'm so present. I found my oneness. It's just the medication. We're given a heavy dose of morphine. You'll be feeling your oneness for quite a while. <laughs> the stars have aligned. The moon's in a good place. I've got my unified self up. I'm a harmonic. A real space cadet we've got here. I take you're not in any pain then? Nope. That's what we like to hear. Martin, would you like to... ...finish up here? I'll go and see to the next patient. Yes, of course. Thanks. And then I said, well, you can't do that. But she told Mandy I said she could. And then Lynn's friend got involved and was like, literally, like, bossing everyone around. And I was like, oh my god, I can't even deal right now. Do you know what I mean? Excuse me. There's no smoking in here. Asked him yet? No. I was going to, but then out of nowhere, I didn't. And I never will, because I'm a tongue-tied fool who ain't good enough for him anyway. Oh, come on, Ange, don't say that. Any guy on earth would be lucky to have you. You can have my useless fellow if you like. Six months I've been seeing him, still doesn't know where everything is. <laughs> It's not just the sex thing. <laughs> Even though that's been so long, I've probably forgotten how to. It's the company I miss. Having someone to wake up with. Wake up and get down. <laughs> Miss Cindy Green? Come on, darling. Thanks for waiting. Right, we've got the results back from Bloods which took earlier and we figured out what's causing all your nausea. Okay, is it bad? I don't think so. You're pregnant. Come again now? You're going to be a mum. Congratulations. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus Christ, woman, you've lost weight. I think you've gone a bit too far this time, honey. Oh, don't touch me. Get off. Leave me alone. You hurt me last time. Ah, ah. Oh, I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out. <laughs> I see you've made several suicide attempts in the last few years. Well, no more of that, you hear? You've got someone depending on you now, OK? And what about Dad? Where's he? Oh, bollocks to him. He's a prick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. They're only good for two things, anyway. Semen and DIY. 
one of which you no longer need. <laughs> Looks like all other results are fine. We're still waiting on your differentials. Stick around. I'll also get you some info on help for first-time mothers, if you like. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, no nuts. Kiss a swig. I've got to wait for some uh, consultant. Good to hours. Oh, let's just sit here. Hey, you. Hiya. You're off this weekend, aren't you? Yeah, thank God. Any plans? Not really. Rest, I suppose. Well, wouldn't you rather wine and dine a lovely lady? Are you hitting on me? Nurse, doctor, whatever you are, I demand your immediate attention. I have been left here for four hours now. Entirely unacceptable. My heart is pounding. My stomach hurts. I feel dizzy. I have cold sweats. Damn it, man! Do your job! Okay, Mr. Emanuel. Don't worry, we'll get you seen to. You just follow me this way. I am so busy right now. Like you're about to lay an egg. Well, what did he say? Nurse! He said. Nurse! Guess we should have listened to him then. 